Star Wars 1313 is perhaps the most infamous cancelled Star Wars game of all time. Everybody knows about this ambitious bounty hunter game that came so close to a release, but ultimately ended up on the scrap pile as it was around the time of Disney's acquisition of the Star Wars IP. And this game was unfortunately one of the casualties. We all remember that amazing E3 footage. There was some gameplay, some cutscenes, and a really cool concept. This game got well off the ground and was going to be one of the most ambitious Star Wars games ever made alongside the also ambitiously cancelled Battlefront 3. Like I said, there has been some footage made public, although the game was never released, but we now have even more unseen Boba Fett gameplay from Star Wars 1313, which was posted by the Vault YouTube channel. So full credit to them for getting this gameplay out there, there will be a link below for their channel. And the footage shows us more of the game than we have ever seen before, and I've got to say, it is some of the coolest footage I have ever seen from a Star Wars game, like ever, and it could give us a pretty rough idea of something close to what we could see when Ubisoft eventually drop their open world Star Wars game if the bounty hunter route is the one that they take. Now if you are enjoying the Star Wars game content on the channel at the moment, be sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel for more. Things are really ramping up big time for Star Wars games at the moment, so make sure you stay in the loop and subscribe. But before we get into that, we do have a quick sponsor for today's video. This video is once again brought to you by our friends over at ownersaber.com. These guys sell incredible high quality lightsabers and they are currently running a new special this month for their Cypher lightsaber. Their Cypher lightsaber is this bad boy on screen. It looks insane. It's got a ton of really cool effects and features including changing lightsaber colors, clash effects, noise effects, and the list goes on. Now people who purchase this lightsaber will enter a giveaway to win a dueling lightsaber of their choice and there will be three winners announced. All you've got to do is purchase the Cypher lightsaber, which is currently 20% off. Then email them your four digit order number to ownersaber10 at gmail.com. The winners will then be announced on their Instagram. The giveaway ends on the 15th of February and the winners will be announced on the 17th. And if you do want to get an extra 10% on top of that 20% off for the lightsaber, then use code Aussie at checkout. And a final thank you to ownersaber for sponsoring this video once again and supporting the channel. Now, once again, full credit to those over at the Vault YouTube channel for revealing this footage, which has been buried away for a very long time. Again, their link is below. Now, this appears to have been leaked by James Zachary, which apparently was the animation director for this game and also worked on the motion capture. And you will see a few animations specifically in the last minute or so of the footage. So they dropped roughly three minutes of Boba Fett unseen footage from Star Wars 1313, as well as some other animations. And as you can see, it looks pretty insane. Boba Fett patrolling the streets of Coruscant, which I still think is one of the most interesting, unexplored locations for Star Wars games, like ever. Like the slums and Coruscant Underground is something we just need to be seeing in our Star Wars games, and we're just not. Coruscant in general, to be honest. I still can't believe Battlefront 2 never made that happen. Now this gameplay is obviously very unfinished and for some reason Boba seems to have an American accent in this footage. And you can tell from the footage that this was going to have some really cool set pieces and chase sequences. One part of this footage did actually remind me a lot of some stuff that we saw in Jedi Fallen Order. I'll put the two things on screen right now so you can see what I mean. So there are elements of this game from pretty much over a decade ago echoing into the games we're getting now which is really really cool to see. Now, judging from this gameplay, this is ultra impressive. Like, there is a lot going on in this footage. There are a lot of characters, a lot going on in the background, and I mean, it's Coruscant. It's like the busiest looking city in Star Wars, which would be pretty demanding for a game to pull off. But considering this footage is incomplete and nearly 10 years old, this looks really impressive. Like, they were really onto something with this game. And the sound design, although incomplete, was really well done. It feels like you're Boba Fett walking through the slums of Coruscant. Now you can tell from the gameplay that there is this very Uncharted vibe to this gameplay, which I mean, Uncharted mixed with Star Wars, who doesn't want that? Now there is also a lot of early demo testing and engine footage of developers just, you know, testing things out for this game that was also part of this unveiling. And I keep coming back to this, but for its time, this stuff is super impressive, like really good animations, really good physics, and to a degree on the nearer complete footage, pretty impressive graphics, all things considered. 
It is honestly a dead set crime against humanity that this game never saw the light of day as a lot of this stuff is the very stuff that fans have been clamoring for for years. The closest that we have gotten is Jedi Fallen Order which is an incredible game in its own right. Jedi Fallen Order is arguably my favorite Star Wars game of all time, yet I think I'd still kind of trade it in to be able to play a finished version of this game. All this footage does for me is one, it makes me incredibly frustrated that this game never came out. As you can see, it is just a ton of wasted potential, but two, it gets me very excited for what we're going to be seeing in future Star Wars games. Specifically, the Ubisoft Open World Star Wars game, and also the Quantic Dream Star Wars game. Now put yourself into the perspective of the ones making the decisions at Ubisoft and Lucasfilm games right now, as to what theme they're going to be going with for this game. What is hot right now? Bounty Hunters, Mandalorians, that is the trend and it has been for a couple of years. I'd be very surprised if the early development cycle of Ubisoft's open world Star Wars game was not centered around this very thing. So that might be the closest thing to this footage that we're going to be seeing in future Star Wars games. So although it is a little bit painful to look back on this footage and just wonder what could have been for Star Wars 13 for this clearly limitless potential Star Wars game. It is good to know that something like this could very well be in the pipeline with already confirmed Star Wars games coming in the next few years. Honestly, I don't see us making it over the next three years without a proper bounty hunter game which has something like this going on. I mean, to be honest, it's absolutely ridiculous that we haven't got one already given the success of The Mandalorian Season 1 and 2 in 2019 and 2020 and now Book of Boba Fett this year and last year. And rumor has it they're doing a Bo-Katan series as well to replace that New Republic movie that was cancelled. So that just adds even more of this Mandalorian bounty hunter thing into the mix. I find it really hard to believe that we just will not see a game like Star Wars 1313 sometime in the next few years. So although it sucks to look back on this footage and wonder what could have been, I'd say look forward because something similar could be closer than we think. So guys, a short, sharp and sweet one today. Let me know what you guys thought of this down in the comments below. What do you think of this unseen Boba Fett 1313 footage? Would you love to see something similar come in future from Lucasfilm Games? Let me know your thoughts down in those comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new with that notification bell on so you don't miss a thing. There is a lot going on right now and I'll catch you all in the next one.